And it, there's no one-to-one -one correspondence with the real patients. Right. You don't have to worry about HIPAA. If we want to look at a genome, let's say of a patient, and try to figure out what is the specific cancer that this person has and how can we better mitigate that? What are the kinds of drugs that we need? In order to actually train a model to do that job, we need a lot of data. Mm -hmm. But the data has to be without all of these privacy bottlenecks. And that's what's tough. Okay. And this Oncogan, which is a generative AI pipeline, it was published in Genomics. Cell Genomics, yes. Oncogan. Yes. It creates a highly realistic synthetic cancer genome just completely within the computer. It's a generative model. Yeah. So on the fly, any team can generate now these cancer data sets that mimic real cancer genomes to a degree of high fidelity that is usable yeah. in, in practical work in this space. Exactly. And that's that key that you just touched on, usable, right? What does it mean to be usable? Well, they actually tried to test it with something called Deep Tumor. Deep Tumor is a, again, another AI that's been developed to identify cancers, okay? They could fool Deep Tumor oh, really well. Oh, wow. But here's the key. Okay. Here's the key. Deep Tumor is really bad at rare cancer subtypes, okay. okay? Like lymph, MCLL, there's only 35 samples in the training set, okay? Well, they substituted generated samples into the training set and Deep Tumor did better once Deep Tumor trained on those. That's the F1 scores improved. That's fascinating. So right? the, the, the synthetic so, data from this GAN, this Oncogan, when fed into an existing detection yeah. model. That's like kind of established. People it's, use it all the time. time. It's, it's it's credible. All these things. Yeah. It has now improved its ability for the, these edge cases. These like edge niche cases. Because now I can I can generate genomes, right, for that specific thing that's not really prevalent in a lot of the real world data sets. That is exactly. really powerful. Here, they're actually able to establish a new paradigm for medical AI, right? We can generate more data instead of we just need to collect more data. Right, right, right. Which, which you know, the, there is a bottleneck on the collecting data piece. Exactly. And so you can much more quickly scale, create usable synthetic data sets that actually map to the real world. Uh, so it's... It's a catalyst for medical oncology, I think. It's, I think it's very cool. It's a huge new tool in the toolbox for, huge. for yeah. oncology studies. 